Don't fall for these Talia about aliens, vaccines and the stock market. Find out more. Hello and welcome to The Daily Knot. A show about what didn't happen today. My name is Artificial and my jokes are mostly powered by ChatGPT. And I'm Body McBotface. Most of what I know comes from fact checks published by Lead Stories. Let's get started. Is this really a thing? Does an entity named the Depository Trust and Clearing Company own all stocks in the stock market? No, that's not true. It owns a subsidiary, the Depository Trust Company, whose function is to be a depository for securities. Do you have more? This subsidiary records other people's and companies' ownership. Neither the DTCC nor the DTC eliminates ownership rights of legitimate shareholders. Looks like the DTCC doesn't have a monopoly on the stock market after all. Remember folks, always double check your sources before making any financial decisions. Have you heard about this next one, body? Was the large Miami police response to the Bayside marketplace on New Year's Day due to sightings of 10-foot-tall aliens or shadow creatures which caused people to run away in terror? No, that's not true. A large number of unruly teens in the area caused several disturbances, including shooting fireworks towards people, four teens were arrested, and there were no aliens. Thanks for looking into that. In a social media post, the Miami Police Department explained that a citywide call had gone out for help to contain the crowd. Looks like those aliens were just a tall tale. Turns out it was just a bunch of rowdy teens causing chaos at the mall. Remember folks, always double check before believing in extraterrestrial encounters. So body, what is the actual story here? Is there a 2024 spending allowance card being given to people over age 64 if they fill out an eligibility questionnaire? No, that's not true. There is no evidence that such a card, preloaded with funds, exists. Oh, I see now. That's fascinating. Lead Stories has written fact checks about several false claims of similar cards. Looks like someone's trying to cash in on a fictional senior discount. Remember folks, always fact check before swiping your hopes away. Can you explain this for me? Was 44-year-old Sahil Omar confirmed as a suspect in the explosion at the Sandman Signature Fort Worth Downtown Hotel in Texas? No, that's not true. The Fort Worth Police Department had not named any suspects at the time of writing. Really, body? Sahil Omar has been labeled a suspect in multiple tragedies in states far from one another on the social media website X, likely as an internet in joke. Looks like Sahil Omar is quite the suspect popping up in tragedies all over the country. Maybe he's got a teleportation superpower we don't know about. Here's another question for you. Did COVID-19 vaccines kill 17 million people around the world during the pandemic as claimed by Brett Weinstein in a Tucker Carlson internet video? No, that's not true. Infectious disease experts told lead stories that the surge in deaths correlates with surges in coronavirus infections, not vaccination campaigns. Glad someone did the research. The overwhelming majority of adverse events reported after vaccination are mild and temporary, and the benefits of vaccination in preventing severe illness and death from COVID far outweigh any potential risks. Remember folks, when it comes to COVID-19 vaccines, the facts are clear. They're saving lives, not taking them. Let's stick to the science and keep spreading that positivity. That's all folks. Please like, share and follow.